What's up everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Rise to Ruins with Dog and Pony. I'm Dog and Pony. This is Rise to Ruins. We're going back to the narrow path. The coolest place I've started a game in so far. Visit region. We can bring 26 more people into the village if we want to. We're not going to. We're going to let it happen naturally in case something horrible happens. We can always, I believe, we can just doom the world. There's a button that says Doom World. If we really needed to start over. Our water supply is not doing great, but since we do have a rain catcher, we can make it rain. We're gonna upgrade that for now. I think I can grab... Nope, that's wood. <laughs> Aboard! Nope, that was just wood again. Did I just crush this person? Their health is full, so I don't think I did. I apologize. Keep working. All right. Uh, let's just let that finish on its own naturally. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. There we go. Only one board needed. <laughs> don't mess around with that too much. Poorly tended, poorly watered. Well, we're going to cut it down to one miner because we have so much stone. We're going to pop our farmers up to that and then that that should do it we will want to build a kitchen eventually but housing is our number one priority right now and when this gets one more build tick done Please, Sarah, work on the building. Sarah? Are you not a builder, maybe? Maybe you're just not interested in this? We need you. We need one person. There we go. Thank you so much, Connie Brandstetter. You will be remembered as a hero for your actions. Um... We're going to build this. Oh, whoa. Okay. It expanded more. We're going to build this right here. It may seem ill-advised, but I promise it might be okay. While no one's near it, it might be a good idea to dump some wood into it so no one gets confused. And one more. Cool. Now we wait. Cause they're they're bringing four there uh eight nine yeah boards are gonna be important here but we're manufacturing them a lot faster than uh i thought so i think we're fine there poorly tended poorly watered guys get some water over there they're bringing buckets it's cool it's cool is this upgraded no upgrade it and we still have four more building slots Early on, I think it's better to upgrade the settlements. We're not going to yet, but it's 18 wood, 18 rocks. Then it is to build an ancillary. Ancillaries allow you to have organizers, but organizers aren't that important from what I've seen. Um, I'm thinking... Here, I'll, wait, 1818, that was the cost. If we build an ancillary, it's going to cost 32 and 8, which is more by four total resources. Admittedly, wood is an unlimited resource while rocks are limited. I think you can technically get infinite rocks, but it's much slower than getting infinite wood. I think what we're gonna wanna do is clear out all these trees. We could actually set them to harvest those. Once we get a better surplus of wood, I'll have them harvest this section of trees instead of this section of trees. And then we'll clear the stumps remaining so that we can use, um, first off, reach these without having to go all the way up and around. It's a shorter path just to go to, you know, through here. Sorry, I'm moving the camera around so much. I'll try to stop doing that. I'm trying to be demonstrative here, but I think I'm just making you seasick instead. Um, and then that'll also give us a bigger area in which to use motivate land. We still have plenty of raw food in the ground. 
is very lucky. Got 41 raw food harvested already. Once this is upgraded, or even just once it rains, our water supply will be a lot better. And the farm is plenty watered, it looks like. It's got 40 dirty water. Wonderful. <laughs> we don't care about having workers in our crystal harvestry at the moment. We don't need the crystals. But I might as well tell them what to harvest so I don't forget when the time comes. We've got 20, it's 24? How do I not remember this? 24, housing capacity. I can't show you because it'll disappear, but if you look at the bottom of this little window that pops up, 32 range, three desirability. I don't have any idea what desirability does. And 24 housing capacity. which will get us most of the population, and then this hovel will get us the rest. Night has arrived, everything is calm. The worst thing about nighttime is that it's hard to see. Also true in real life. I feel like <laughs> farms are only useful insofar as they allow you to pick these vegetables. They don't seem to do much of their own actual production. I know they do. They, they give you a supply that replenishes itself, but I feel like you get mo a lot more just by motivating land. At least for the first, like, year, because I played through about a year and a half off camera. My bad. It hasn't rained yet, has it? We could make it rain, but I'm not going to just yet because we do have a positive water quantity and we're going to be purifying more once this is done. Since this needs so much wood, I'm going to do it this way. There's not very many people around and like hardly any of them our builders anyway. The builders are all focusing on the housing. We'll get it down to like 10 and then stop. I don't know if there's any other downsides to doing this. If you know, let me know, but I'll probably keep doing it for a while because I still have a huge backlog of these videos. Yeah, I don't want workers there. It's cool. We could build a stone cuttery. I do want to... I'm going to let these two buildings finish first. The hovel and the water purifier, that is. And I want to rebuild this hovel before we build anything new. These fences are so weird. Is there a point to doing them doubled up like this? My guess is it's partially decorative, if not entirely decorative. All right. 87%, finish it up guys. What are you doing? That's a board. Okay, they're bringing the rest of the wood over. And most of the boards we need as well. That should let them put quite a bit. Oh, that person was asleep, weren't they? The one I picked up and made continue building this. 
I didn't realize that until just now. I'm not seeing any monsters yet. I don't think they'll spawn at all until tomorrow. I'd love some more nomads though. We're running low on workers. It might be a good idea to provide some light for this farm, though I'm not actually sure. If, I mean like, it'll make it easier for us to see if anything's attacking it. That's true. But beyond that, I don't know if there's a benefit. Some buildings provide their own light. As you can see, this one does. There's a torch here, torch here. These ones have small torches. But the farms do not. Not sure why. Oh my god, please. All right, two out of three, nope. Both of the two remaining boards are being brought over. That'll be done any second. We're definitely in positive territory on water. Oh, this completed. Yes. We're gonna be in very positive territory on water thanks to this uh, rain catcher. And our farms. That's fine. Uh, our farms will be fully watered by that so our water sources won't be depleted by the uh, farms while it's raining, which is really helpful. Please just build. Yeah, you'll be able to sleep inside if you just finish. This one should do it. Okay, one more. Once that guy's bar is full, that's built. Perfect. It gives us most of the housing we need, and then we can reclaim this building. What's our current range before I reclaim this? Pretty good. It'll only be marginally better once we get this, because it's pretty blocked off. I don't even know if it'll increase. Once we get this whole section of the map into our village, though, we'll only have to worry about monsters spawning over here. And then they'll have really far walks to get to us. Which will be good. Oh, it's already 50% built. Because, you know, re repair. I'm going to dump all of the wood in that I can. So it's just boards and rocks that we're waiting on. I can also dump rocks in. I think that person dropped their board. Ah! Can't stop me. Okay, six wood left. Let's dump some rock in. I'll grab from here. So maybe we could build something on this spot. Uh, it didn't deplete it even remotely. That's cool. Five more wood, 14 more boards. And they're actually like doing the, the process of building it at this point. That'll put us in really good shape. Let's see if we can find any monsters. Hey, we got a zombie. Pull us gates, I understand. So if we pick up this zombie, I missed, and drop him in here, we get a little bit of essence. And we prevent spawns from growing. Like the, the bigger spawners, like uh, graveyard spawner and stuff like that. I believe. They might still pop up on their own. I'm not really sure how those start to form. I assume the way I think it works is that monsters will spawn in random spots around the world. And once they're in a location for a certain amount of time, they kind of build their spawners. And the more of them there are, the more likely they are to build one. I know they form their own pads, which is really cool. Watching the monsters walk around 
wearing pads out just like your villagers do and kind of forming these like autonomous societies I like that there's food growing over here and crystals galore let's hide that takes up too much of the screen this is perfect though That should be like the rest of the resources right there. Or at least most of it. Four, five. We're gonna need some more boards. But they'll they'll make it over eventually. Nice. Anybody else carrying any? It appears not. But we do have this guy building them, so that's good. Come on, someone carry one over. Is it you? Are you gonna grab one? No, you're just also making boards. You jerk. Hey, look at that. What else do we do in the meantime? I'll keep on the lookout for monsters. And once we've got that house, we're gonna build a kitchen. And we want our kitchen basically between our farms so like here we need cut stones for a kitchen you don't say so we're gonna build a stone cuttery where's our mine over here perfect we're just gonna plop this down I guess here I don't need to be super efficient about this because we are looking to just expand. That's not gonna expand anything, but just like with the lumber mill, I want it close to the production facility that fuels it. It's so close. And we have another worker and another worker. Those will both be stone cutters soon. I realize I still have the range up, but I do like to see it more often than I don't. Sometimes it gets a little annoying. See any more monsters? What's that? Essence Collector. Not a good place for it. I think we can walk on this light shade of blue water, but not on this dark shade of blue water. And we can clear these spots in the same way we can clear rocks and trees. Though we're not going to. Not yet. We might want to expand in that direction at some point, but I'd rather expand into places where monsters can spawn than make new places to expand to, at least at the beginning. Child. There we go. An essence collector will be a good thing to have because it'll help me refill my influence faster. If nomads show up, we'll be pretty much golden. Let's pop down an essence collector. It only generates eight range. It's probably better to put it somewhere safe than it is to put it somewhere for the range. I'm gonna put it um, like here. Oh, out of building slots, upgrade this. Should have done that a while back. Seventy-seven percent. That's good, and we built that because we want to build a kitchen. We need a kitchen and a bottler. So let's, <laughs> of course, um, do we need. No, we need crystals, not crystallium. But we have the ability to harvest. So let's say 
one fewer workers, one more crystal harvester. This is going to be our top priority. I don't know how it ended up at the very bottom, but not there anymore. That's for sure. Oh, I thought we got a tip. I heard a noise. Oh, that was because the building completed. No workers, no production. Well, let's change that. Two fewer workers. Uh, two more stone cutters. Maintain. 32. If we wanted them to not maintain 32, but to just make 32, we could also have them make one. When they make one, that'll go down to zero. If we were to say, if we, if we wanted them to always have 16 cut stone available, no matter what, they have to try to keep 16. We do ma maintain 16, but say we need, like we know we're gonna need 32 for an upcoming job. We say make 32 so that we have it for when that job is ready to happen. Like we're about to build a kitchen. I don't want you to have a whole, you, you get it. I don't need to explain more. That's almost done. Sorry, I'm answering a text message. So kitchen followed by bottler or bottler followed by kitchen because bottlers keep people from overheating, whereas Kitchens just make people able to eat more efficiently. It's a little less important. And any second now. But yeah, let's pop down a bottler. Right, you gotta wait for this to actually finish being built. Come on, start a bar. It's like one, maybe two more bars. I bet it's one. Ooh, a tip. Oh god, there's something in my eye. Ready? Completed. I knew it. Bottler uh, near the water supply. It doesn't generate much range anyway. Let's put it here to, so as to not interfere with our food supply. Actually, if I put it here, how big is this? It's one bigger. So we're gonna wanna put another water purifier down right here, which means we can put this here. Cool. Energy, gotcha. Thanks for the tips. Okay, I think it's about time we can hide the range. Let's take a look out for the monsters. We got a doggo. Uh, that's not a problem at all. They're not dangerous. Even wild, they won't hurt us. They'll just try to join us. Hey there. You punching that rock? It's trapped here, so it's trying to get out. I saw a skeleton punch its way through like 30 blocks of wood trying to get to my village. Because it was trapped, not because they'll typically do that, but because it had like literally no other path it could follow. Get out of here, small slime. Get them too many things in or else the color skate will start to take damage. How, how does this exist already? Cut it out.
still haven't figured out the most efficient way to do this, though I think I did realize at one point that holy golems are better than the alternatives there. There's some new defense buildings. I didn't previously know about rock golems, which are a thing. But there's also, like, crystal golems now. So you can build golem combobulators, and they will um, manufacture and maintain, like, depending on how many you, how, how upgraded the building is, like, up to four golems per thing. And they'll just walk around defending your city. And I find that that works much better than some of the alternatives, like fence mazes and that. I mean, obviously they all work well in tandem, but as for our early city goes, we'll probably go for some combobulators that I could put around this crystal field. I think that's something we'll probably do soon. Makeshift bottler, we're gonna need a couple more bottlers. We don't have as many water masters as we could. I'm gonna go down to one carpenter, um, two lumberjacks. Kind of want two miners because we're pretty low on rock. Two bottlers, they're here now, and two water masters. Up to oh, I guess up to six, not seven. And let's select. Oh crap! I didn't mean to pick you up. I'm so sorry. Okay. We're gonna maintain, um, here, I'll demonstrate the infinity thing. I don't think it's possible to go down from zero to, to infinity. You just have to go up. One second, let me get my mouse over the button, oh my goodness. All right, luckily my mouse has a three clicks at once. Well, my mouse has a macro button uh, that is by default bound to triple click, which makes this a little faster. It is, I have a harder time aiming my mouse when my finger's on that button though, so going back to just single clicking, which I can still do relatively fast. And once we get this up to infinity, I'm gonna say that that is all for now, but thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more in the future, and I will see you in the next episode.